Today, talking about Black Widow in Marvel Super War. How should you play Black Widow? Is Black Widow even a good champion to choose? Do you think that she would make sense to pick? Let me tell you my thoughts, my insights on her abilities, what makes her good and not so good depending upon what you're looking for, and my overall review. Let's do it. Getting started with some pros and cons for Black Widow. Black Widow has a couple of strengths and some of these are, first of all, a lot of attack damage. All of her abilities do a good amount of attack damage to her enemies. You can hit them with a variety of abilities back to back and do a lot of damage early on. And in addition to this, her mobility really grants her a lot of strengths here. A lot of her abilities as well have the ability to slow or stun enemy champions, as well as move her to a location very rapidly. So if you're looking for the ability to gank those enemies, run up on them, then Black Widow may be a great option for you. She is an assassin, sort of a jungler in the sense where she can quickly sneak up on people and do a lot of damage to them. That being said, some of those weaknesses, she doesn't have the best health herself. She is very easy to remove if the enemy has someone to deal high damage to her. So to be in those one-on-one -on -one situations, with Black Widow, probably not the best call. So depending upon what you're looking for, you can deal a lot of damage, you can have quite the mobility, but you are also fairly squishy and you take a lot of damage fairly easily as well. Now, in terms of her hero abilities, the first ability, the trait, basic trait for Black Widow is the Widow's Bite. I think this is a great trait especially for Black Widow, and there's a reason for that. That reason is, in addition to doing that damage that Black Widow does with her basic attacks, she also has the potential to slow enemy champions. So if it's a first hit on an enemy champion, they can be slowed for two seconds, but that does take an extra 10 seconds to cool down and hit that same enemy champion. So if you hit them, every basic attack is not gonna slow them. It's gonna take 10 seconds to then be able to slow them for two seconds again. So to get an initial, again, gank, to sneak up on them, to do that early damage, to slow them down and to create a situation for yourself where your whole team's able to then converge on them or you're able to do all your abilities to them immediately and knock them out, Black Widow has a definite strength here. And, and having those basic abilities slow her opponents in addition to some of those regular abilities slowing her opponents really plays to that strength and continues to emphasize the importance of board control and mobility for Black Widow and her ability to keep someone in one place so she can deal that finishing blow to them and deal a lot of damage to them and prevent them from escaping, especially if they're the high damage dealers of the enemy team. And that's something to keep in mind with Black Widow. You want to be very careful with who you're focusing on, who you're stunning and who you're slowing, especially early on. If you're in a situation you're using your abilities, you only get to really slow one person with a lot of those abilities. You want to make sure you're focusing on that high damage dealer. You're thinking about the ADC, the person who does a lot of attack damage, as opposed to, for example, you don't want to be using all your slow effects on the tank who's prepared to take that damage anyway. So make sure you're considering that as you're using Black Widow's abilities. You want to be stunning and slowing people who are most likely to do a lot of damage to your team and who are most likely to take a lot of damage themselves fairly easily, similar to Black Widow. Maybe if the enemy team also has a Black Widow, you want to go for her first. Just something to keep in mind. For 40 energy and a cooldown of 8 seconds, Black Widow has Shadow Kick kicking in a direction of the enemy. Again, a directional move, so something to keep in mind there is you have to make sure that you're aiming appropriately to hit your enemy with this strike. That being said, the ability to kick towards your enemy, dealing a lot of damage to them. This is a strong ability, a good one to level up if you're looking to deal a lot of damage to your enemy. Just sort of a basic attack. Doesn't have too many other effects to it besides just really dealing damage. That being said, it can do quite a bit of damage, especially as you build it up over the ranks. So something to keep in mind is if you're looking to deal a lot of damage, not too worried about slowing enemies or just trying to get some early game strategy down. Make sure you're able to deal enough damage to protect your team and to be able to support eliminating those enemies and taking care of those high damage dealers. You may like this ability Shadow Kick as one of your early abilities with Black Widow. For 35 energy and an 8 second cooldown, we have Widow's Sting. And this is a directional attack which throws out a variety of darts and it will also slow enemies. So in addition to dealing damage to those enemies, you'll also be able to slow your enemies in sort of an arc formation. So something to keep in mind is you can do, deal a lot of damage in that way, make sure that you're hitting a lot of enemies and slowing a lot of enemies. Definitely has potential as an ability, especially if you're starting to think about, okay, how can I start to get this mobility thing down? How can I take some board control and control these enemies from escaping a situation or come around and gank these enemies so that they can't necessarily escape and make sure I'm dealing enough damage to them to keep them in that situation. This may be a good ability to start thinking about at that point in time when you're saying, okay, I want to focus more on slowing. I'm not super worried about some high damage abilities. More so, I'm worried about those abilities to slow some enemies and deal with multiple enemies. 
not necessarily the number one priority for Black Widow, dealing with a variety of enemies at once. You more so want to focus on a target, deal a lot of damage to that target, remove that target as the assassin, as opposed to just slowing the entire enemy team, but still very useful if you're trying to own the board, if you're trying to ensure that mobility is kept under control and you're slowing the enemies down, you're allowing your team to do what they need to do to that enemy team. Something to keep in mind, this is a slow ability that can be utilized quite well, especially with Black Widow's basic attacks and with her mobility control. For 40 energy and a 10 second cooldown, a really useful ability here for Black Widow is the grappling hook. And you wanna make sure that you utilize the grappling hook to sneak up on those enemies. You can use it to stun them, to speed on over to them, and to be able to do quite a bit of damage to them. So if you're looking for that mobility, you're looking for that board control, in addition to being able to stun and slow those enemies, to quickly transport, whether it's through walls or through obstacles, to that enemy, the particular enemy that you have in mind, this could be a great option for you. Again, allowing her to work both that mobility angle as well as that damage dealing angle to quickly find herself in a situation to deal a lot of damage. So you wanna make sure that you are getting the grappling hook when you're trying to get to those situations. And as you're going and ganking these enemy heroes and as you're trying to sneak up on those enemy heroes and do some damage to enemy heroes and control the board and make sure you're removing the right opponents, this is an ability to make sure that you're saving up and you're utilizing very carefully, very meticulously on the right opponent. It's so easy to use up these abilities and be stuck on cooldown and then easily get killed as Black Widow and need to respawn because her health is so low and she is so squishy. You want to make sure that you're very carefully targeting those abilities and especially this ability so that you can hit this specific enemy that you want to hit, stun them, slow them, and then deal a wide barrage of damage to them in order to remove them from play and allow your team to be able to continue to survive without having to worry about that big attack damage dealer on the enemy team. Of all of the abilities to make sure that you save up and have prepared for those heavy duty battle combat situations, I'd say this is one of the biggest ones. Again, with the ability to quickly transport to that location, stun that enemy, deal a lot of damage to them, and find yourself moving from location A to location B very quickly. You wanna make sure that you're utilizing this as almost a key component of your battle strategy as Black Widow, because again, it's so important to gank and to sneak up on these enemies and not to allow yourself to die personally too quickly before you're able to remove that enemy. So in order to remove that enemy without having to worry about your own health, the best way to do it is quickly go from point A to point B, sneak up on them, deal damage to them before they even know what's coming. So definitely save up for this ability, utilize this ability on that big heavy hitter of the enemy team. If you see your team is dealing with tanks only, that sort of thing, I would continue to save this ability, save it for that big ADC. When they walk in, they start doing a lot of damage. Maybe you can sneak up on them, stun them, reach them quickly, do a lot of damage to them, and help change the game for your team. And for 50 energy and a 50 second cooldown, we have Storm Barrage, the ultimate ability of Black Widow. And it is a very ultimate ability. Black Widow has the ability to shoot in a variety of different directions and then target an enemy particularly, dealing a lot of damage to them depending upon how many enemies are in front of you at a given time. You wanna make sure that you're utilizing this to try to remove the right enemies at the right time. It's really interesting how this ability works. It seems like it has the ability to leverage the board in a particular way. So again, if you see you've got that high attack damage enemy in front of you and you kind of have your team working with you but they're not super close to the team, if you're able to use that grappling hook, get close to that enemy and then utilize this storm barrage or use some of those other abilities and then utilize storm barrage to finish that enemy off, this can deal quite the amount of damage to the enemy if utilized at the right time. That being said, it does have a much higher cooldown than a lot of the other abilities we've looked at for a lot of the other heroes so far in Marvel Super War and that's something to keep in mind as you're determining, should I use this ability now because it does take quite a while to cool down compared to some of those other abilities. As you're thinking about items and build for Black Widow, make sure that you're keeping in mind items that will give you a high amount of attack damage, allow you to continue to build on that approach of dealing a lot of attack damage in one given moment to a particular enemy. It can be very important for Black Widow to be able to grapple in, deal that damage, knock an enemy out before that enemy does too much damage to her team. So make sure you keep this in mind as you're building Black Widow. For this, you might like the double daggers, the quantum rifle, or the dual katanas. 
all of which deal a lot of attack damage to your opponent. Something else to keep in mind as well is that physical penetration and make sure you're able to do enough damage to that enemy without having to worry about their armor getting in the way because it's very important that you can deal that damage to that enemy, knock them out without them being able to sufficiently protect themselves. For example, again, you're targeting the ADC. If they've built up a lot of armor, you wanna make sure you're keeping in mind, okay, do I need some physical penetration here in addition to that physical attack damage in order to be able to break through their armor to do that damage to them physically because you need to keep in mind Mind, one of your biggest roles as Black Widow in this game is to make sure that you can remove those heavy hitters from the enemy team to allow your team to be able to push harder and not have to worry about taking too much damage. So as Black Widow, you want to make sure that you're doing a lot of jungling. Make sure you get yourself those jungle abilities. Make sure you're knocking out a lot of jungle units. Maybe consider some counter jungling and knocking out some of the enemy's jungle as well to help yourself get more buffs, but also to prevent them from getting too many buffs and making sure that your team is building up in the right direction. You want to be able to build up your strengths and build up your level as quickly as you can to then be able to come in and gank enemies and be able to do a lot of damage to unsuspecting enemies so that you can help push your team forward. It's something very important to keep in mind in this game. Overall, Black Widow's not really my go-to in terms of a jungle champion. I'm not a huge jungler, but when I do play jungle generally, I like someone who's got some lifesteal who can protect themselves a little bit. A little bit more of a bruiser jungler is more my style. Someone who can prevent, protect themselves and be able to get out there and do a lot of damage, but also not have to necessarily worry about dying too quickly. That being said, with the mobility that Black Widow comes with, I can see a lot of people would enjoy playing with Black Widow. If you like to get around the map quickly and try to sort of manipulate the board, manipulate your opponent that way, where you can sneak up behind them without them suspecting it. You may enjoy Black Widow quite a bit. For me, she's not a top choice, not a top tier. I rank her a little bit lower in terms of preferences. I want to say maybe on a scale of one through five, if one were the best, I'd give her maybe around a four for me. She's probably not my first draft or even my top three drafts. That being said, I'll have to jump in there and give her a shot and see what I think. And I'd love to hear your thoughts as well. Where do you rank Black Widow? Are you excited to try her? And who are you looking forward to trying. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. What did you think of my Marvel Super War review of Black Widow? I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, give me a like, and let me know that you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for being a part of the fun with me. If you haven't already, for more fun gaming adventures, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed. Until next time, play on. For this, you might like the Quantum Rifle, the Dual Daggers, or the Dual...